Namaste yogis. Welcome back to Yoga with Kate. Today we're going to work on a practice of twisting. Twisting to get rid of toxins within our whole body system. So we're working on the toxicity that we're exposed to and right now of course we're all concerned about COVID-19 and the toxicity of the virus, the toxicity of the emotions that are spewed because of this situation. So we're going to release our body from that toxicity as we go through our practice. So we're going to do some twisting, we're going to ground and we're going to let go. So bringing our hands to the center of our chest, rooting down through your feet, going to inhale, reach up, and then exhale, bring your hands down the midline, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhaling, coming all the way up, reaching all the way up. And then exhale, bring your hands back to the center of your chest. Inhale, and then exhale. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, bring your hands down the midline, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhaling, coming all the way up, reaching all the way up. And then exhale, bring our hands back to the center of our chest. And again, inhale, reaching up. Exhale, bring your hands down the midline, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhaling, coming all the way up, reaching all the way up. And then exhale, bringing our hands to the center of our chest. Pausing here just for a moment, and just noticing how your body feels. Bring an acute awareness to the soles of your feet to the center of your heels and to the ball of the foot on each side and perhaps just rock back and forwards on your feet here. Just becoming intensely aware of the soles of your feet and how you're rooting down, how you're grounding down through our feet. We're going to inhale, reach up again. Exhale, bring your hands down the midline, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step your right foot all the way back. So make sure that your left ankle is underneath your left knee. Shoulders are away from our ears. Strong in your right thigh here. Sending your heart energy forwards. We're going to inhale and then exhale, downward dog. We're going to inhale, roll forwards into plank. We're going to push the floor away from us with our hands, engaging the core here, strong in your legs. Inhale, exhale, lower your knees. Easy chaturanga, so hovering here. And then inhale, come into upward dog. Nice. Exhale, downward dog. Good. You're going to inhale, lift that left leg up behind. And then exhale it all the way through to your lunge. Lifting your chin, going to inhale here. Exhale, place your right hand flat on the floor. And then inhale, extend your left arm up to the ceiling. Inhale here. Exhale, bring your left hand down. Inhale into the lunge again. And then exhale, step that right foot forwards. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhaling, coming all the way up, reaching all the way up. Exhale, bring your hands down the midline, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step your left foot all the way back. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, roll forward into plank. Again, pushing the floor away from us, 
engaging the core, strongening your hands here. Make sure you're pushing down through the base of your index fingers, lengthening your fingers and your thumbs. Going to inhale, exhale, lower your knees. Easy chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up behind. Exhale it all the way through to your lunge. Inhale, lifting the chin, sending the heart energy forwards. And then exhale, place your left hand flat on your mat. And then you're going to inhale, extend your right arm up. So really reaching up with that right arm, pushing down with the right foot. And pushing the floor away from you with your left hand. Inhale, exhale, bring your right arm down. Inhale into your lunge. And then exhale, step that left foot in. We're going to inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhaling, coming all the way up, reaching all the way up. Exhale, bring your hands to the center of your chest. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring your hands down the midline. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, walk your feet back to plank. Exhale, lower your knees. Easy chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Going to inhale, lift that right leg up behind. Exhale it all the way through to your lunge. We're going to inhale here. And then exhale, you're gonna step your left foot in. So your left foot is about two to three feet away from your right foot. And both feet are parallel to each other, but they're about hip width apart. So you're going to inhale, lengthen through the spine, and then exhale, fold. Now your hands may or may not reach the floor here, so just going to where you can get to. If you can't reach the floor, you can get some books or some blocks to place your hands onto the books or blocks. And just keeping both legs as straight as you can. We're in Parsvottanasana. You're sending the top of the right thigh back into the right hip. Engaging the core here. Going to inhale, lengthen through the spine. And then exhale, place your left hand on the outside of your right ankle. Bring your right hand to your right hip. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. And then exhale, just turning to the right here. Now you can keep your right hand on your right hip, or you can inhale, extend that right arm up to the ceiling. In Parvita Trikonasana, revolved triangle. Stay with your breath. Inhale. Exhale, bring your right hand back to your hip, looking down at the floor. Bring your left hand to the left side of that right foot. Right hand releases down to the right side of that right foot. Going to inhale, lengthen through the spine, and then exhale, fold again, just releasing here. Stay with your breath. Inhale, lengthening through the spine. Exhale, bend that right knee, and send your left foot to the back of the mat again. We're going to inhale here, and then exhale, make your left foot parallel to the back of the mat, pushing down into your feet and come up into warrior two. So bending your right knee, right knee goes out to the right. Strong in our arms, lifting from the lower abdomen, staying with your breath. Nice. We're going to inhale, straighten that right leg. And then exhale, reach forwards with those right fingertips. When you can't go any further, bring your right hands down. So it may come to the ankle or to the shin, and just allow that right arm just to release here. Then we're gonna ex extend the left arm up to the ceiling, tucking your right hip under, Trikonasana. So feeling the expanse between both wrists here. So you can look down at the floor, you can look to the left or look up to the ceiling. Inhaling, coming back up. Exhale, bend that right knee, coming back.
back into warrior two. Virabhadrasana two. Finding your drishti. Staying with your breath. Inhale, lifting that right arm up. And then exhale, spiral your arms all the way around. Swing the back foot around. We're going to inhale here. And then exhale, downward dog. Nice. Staying here. You're going to inhale, lift that left leg up behind. And then send it all the way through to your lunge. Make your right foot parallel to the back of the mat. And then coming back up into warrior two. So I've changed sides just so that I can see you and you can see me. Staying with your breath here. Good. I'm going to inhale. Exhale, bend that left knee. Inhale, straightening that left leg. And then exhale, reach forwards with those left fingertips. Release your left hand down. Right arm goes up to the ceiling. So we're coming into regular Trikonasana on the left side first. Tucking the left hip under. Staying with the breath. Feeling that expanse between the right wrist and the left wrist. We're going to inhale, come back up. Exhale, bend that left knee. Inhale, lifting the left arm up. And then exhale, spiral your arms all the way around. Swing the back foot around. We're going to inhale here. And then exhale, step that right foot in. So it's about two to three feet away from your left foot. We're going to have both feet so that they're parallel. We're going to inhale, lengthen through the spine. And then exhale, fold over that left leg. Sending the top of the left thigh back into the left hip, releasing the upper body here in Parsvottanasana. Staying with your breath. Inhale, lengthening through the spine. And then exhale, bring your right hand to the outside of your left ankle. Bring your left hand to your left hip. Sending the top of the left thigh back into the left hip. You're going to inhale, lengthen through the spine. And then exhale, you're going to twist to your left. Now you can stay here or you can inhale, extend your left arm up to the ceiling. You can look down at the floor, look to your left, or look up to the ceiling in Pravita Trikonasana, so it's revolved triangle. Stay with your breath here. Inhale, exhale, bring your left hand back to your left hip. Right hand comes to the right side of the left foot. Left hand to the left side of the left foot. Going to inhale here, lengthening through the spine. Exhale, fold. Nice. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, bend that left knee and send that right foot to the back of the mat coming back into your lunge here. We're going to inhale here, and then exhale, downward dog. Nice. Inhale, and then exhale, looking at that space between your hands, you're gonna walk your feet to your hands. Our feet are together, our knees are together. We're going to inhale, come into Utkatasana, chair. Staying with your breath here, make sure you can see your toenails. Nice. We're going to inhale here. Exhale, bring your hands to the center of your chest. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. And then exhale, we're going to twist to the right. So you're going to bring your right, your left elbow to the outside of the right knee. You're going to make sure that your left knee does not jut forwards. Then we're going to inhale, lengthening the spine. And then exhale, twisting to the right. Inhale, come back to the center. Extend your arms up. 
Make sure you can still see your toenails. Inhale here. Exhale, bring your hands to the center of your chest. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. And then exhale, twist to your left. Bring your right elbow to the outside of the left knee and making sure that that right knee doesn't jut forwards. Stay with your breath here. Breathing in and out through the nose. Nice. Gonna inhale, come back to the center, reaching up again. And then exhale, fold. Releasing the upper body. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, fold. We're gonna walk our feet out so that our feet are about hip width apart. Then we're gonna bend the knees slightly. We're gonna inhale, lift the right foot up and place your right hand underneath your right foot. So your right palm is facing up and your toes are coming to the wrist crease on that right hand. Then you're going to inhale, lift the left foot up, place your left hand underneath the left foot, so your toes are coming to the wrist crease on that left foot. Then we're going to inhale, lengthen through the spine, extending your legs, and then exhale, release the upper body, pushing down through your feet, and staying with your breath here. Feeling that release, and just allowing yourself to let go. Nice. Inhale, lifting the head slightly. Exhale, bend the knees gently. Inhale, lift the right foot up. Release the right hand as you exhale. Then inhale, lift the left foot up. Release the left hand as you exhale. We're going to inhale, lengthen through the spine. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthening through the spine. And then exhale, walk your feet back to plank. So we're going to push the floor away from us with our hands. Going to inhale. And then exhale, lower your knees. Easy chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. We're going to inhale here. Exhale, come down onto your knees. You're going to come down onto your forearms. Then you're going to walk your knees back. We're going to inhale here. And then exhale, bring your forehead down onto your mat. Release your head. So your forehead comes down, releasing your neck and your shoulders. And just enjoying that release through the top of your back and your shoulders. Nice. Inhaling, coming back up onto your forearms. And then exhale, toes are tucked under. Sending your hips up and coming into dolphin pose. Just staying with your breath here. Good. Inhale. Exhale, come down onto your knees. Come up onto your hands. And then we're going to sit back up on our heels here. Good. So our toes are all tucked under. So make sure that all five toes are tucked under. Nice. Going to come up onto our toes now. Bringing your hands to the center of your chest. Find your drishti, your focus. Keeping your focus, you're gonna push down into your toes. Coming all the way up. Trying to keep your back vertical. Staying with your breath, staying on your toes. Inhale, and then exhale. Trying to keep our back vertical, keep your drishti coming down with control, staying with your breath. Good. Inhale, and then exhale, release your arms to the side. Bring your knees down, 
Release the tops of your feet to your mat and sitting back on our heels just for a moment. Good. So we're going to extend just the right leg here. And we're going to sit on the left heel. So bring your left heel so it's actually just underneath the perineum. So you're actually sitting on the heel. So the knee can go out to the left, the left knee can go out to the left, and the right leg can be slightly out to the right here. The right foot is flexed. So there's a bit of a V happening with your thighs. You're going to inhale, reach up. And then we're gonna exhale, we're gonna fold over that right leg, keeping that right foot flexed. Pushing down through the back of the right leg as you inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, folding again, just releasing your whole body, trusting that we have everything that we need and just allowing all those things that we hang on to for just in case, just allowing them to, to go and trusting that you have everything that you need more than. Inhaling, coming back up, reaching up. And then exhale, bringing your arms down. You're gonna sit off now, and you're gonna bring that left leg over. So your left foot is on the outside of your right thigh. Now you can keep your right leg extended here, or you can bend the right leg. So your right heel is by your left hip. We're gonna hug that left knee with your right arm. You're going to inhale, extend the left arm up, and then exhale, you're gonna to twist to your left. Placing the hand on the floor behind you. You're going to inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, twist, looking over that left shoulder. Staying with your breath here. So every time you inhale, feel that you're lengthening through the spine. And then every time you exhale, just go a little deeper into your twist. So we're getting to massage our internal organs here. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. And then exhale, keep your twist. But just look over your right shoulder here. Staying with your breath. Lovely. Inhale. And then exhale, let's release the twist. You're going to bring your left knee on top of the right. So this will work even if your right leg is extended. So your left knee is on top of the right. Make sure that your sit bones are still rooted down into your mat. You're going to lengthen through the spine here and just interlace your fingers and place them on top of that left knee. And let's close our eyes for a couple of breaths here. And noticing how your body feels. Noticing if you can settle into any discomfort, if you can release any tension by just softening into that part of you that's holding on, that's holding on. Nice. Inhale, and then exhale, opening our eyes. Lovely. You're going to sit back and we're going to extend the left leg and we're going to um, come on to the right foot, onto the right heel. So we're sitting on that heel. Now this is not very comfortable, I might add. I perhaps should have said that on the other side. And if it is really uncomfortable, you can place that right foot on the inside of the left thigh. So we're going to inhale, come up, and then exhale, folding over that extended left leg. So yes, our thighs are in a bit of a V shape. We're going to inhale, lengthen, and then exhale, fold. So our knees are apart. We're softening here, releasing. 
breathing again, just allowing that which we've been hanging on to for such a long time for the just in case moments, just letting it go. Again, trusting. Softening. Nice. We're going to inhale, come all the way up, reaching up. And then exhale, release your arms down. Good. So we're going to um, we're going to sit up and bring that right foot out. So the right foot is now on the outside of the left thigh. And again, we can keep that left leg extended or we can bend the left leg so that the left heel is by the right hip. Going to hug that left, that right knee into your chest with your left arm. We're going to inhale, extend the right arm up and then exhale, twisting to the right. As you inhale, lengthen. And then as you exhale, twisting, looking over the right shoulder. So making sure that both sit bones are still rooted down into your mat. And every time you inhale, just lengthening a little bit. And then every time you exhale, just looking over that right shoulder. Allowing our body to release into the twist. Feeling as though internally our bodies are preparing to let go, releasing any toxins, going to inhale, lengthen the spine, and then exhale, you're going to keep the twist, but look over your left shoulder now, staying with your breath. Nice, inhale, and then exhale, we'll release the twist now. We're gonna place the right knee on top of the left knee, and just making sure your sit bones are still rooted down into your mat. We're going to interlace our fingers and place them on top of that right knee. Rooting down through the sit bones as you inhale, lengthen through the spine. And just closing our eyes for a moment here and contemplating our intention to trust that we have what we need, to open up to letting go of things that are no longer serving us, things that we probably have been carrying with us as a just-in-case measure or as a backup for a long time, but we actually never needed it. So living in the moment, Staying with the breath, softening into this pose, noticing how it feels compared, compared to the other side. Inhale, and then exhale, opening our eyes. So now we're just going to bring your hands behind again, sitting back a little bit, extending your legs out in front. Both legs are extended here now. Your feet are together. Your feet are flexed. You're going to inhale, reach up again, and then exhale, folding. I'm just going to wherever you can get to. You're going to inhale, lengthen through the spine, and then exhale, fold again, releasing the upper body, staying with your breath. Taking two more breaths in Paschimottanasana. And then very slowly on your next inhale, coming all the way up, reaching up. Exhale.
exhale, bring your arms down. So let's come down onto our tummy, to the front of our mat, and making that pillow with your hands, turning your head to the right, and just allowing your whole body to release here. Releasing into the surface of your mat. Becoming aware of the points of contact between your body and your mat. Inhale. And then exhale, turning your head to the left. Again. Becoming aware of the points of contact between your body and your mat. Feel yourself being supported and allowing that support to happen. Inhale. And then exhale. Let's turn over onto our back. And we're just going to bring our knees into the chest and very gently rocking from side to side. And then come back to the center. Place your feet flat on your mat and actually have your feet so that your feet are about mat width apart. So your feet are actually on the side edges of your mat. You're going to tuck your shoulders under and just interlace your fingers and place your hands underneath your head again. We're going to inhale here and then exhale, let your knees fall to the right and then just look over your left elbow. Inhale, bring your knees back to the center. And then exhale, letting your knees fall to the left and looking over your right elbow. bringing our knees back to the center, going to release your arms along the side of your body, tuck your shoulders under, turn your palms to face up, and then let's just extend our legs out. And we're going to come down into Shavasana. And just taking a few breaths here. Become aware of the sounds around us. Connect to your breath. We're going to take five deep breaths here. And for each breath, you're going to breathe in for a count of four. And breathe out for the same count of four. Never forcing your breath. Just breathing in and out through the nose. Breathing in for four and breathing out for the same count of four. And very gently becoming aware of the points of contact between your body and your mat. 
become aware of all the sounds around us. And just gently bringing some movement back into your fingers and your toes. Inhale, stretch your arms up and over, just lengthening through the whole body here. Exhale, bring your arms back along the side of your body. Flex your feet and bend in your legs. And just slowly turn over onto your right side. And let's come back up. And we're going to come to sitting. And just coming to a cross-legged seated position. Bringing our hands to our knees. Lengthening through the spine. And just noticing how you feel. Notice your breath. Bring our hands to the center of our chest in Anjali Mudra. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale through the mouth. Namaste. Thank you for joining me today on our yoga practice. Remember to be kind and gentle with yourself. And today we did a fair amount of twisting, so it's a good idea to drink just perhaps a little bit more water than normal. And have a wonderful day. Namaste.